Welcome back to the channel everyone, Alvan Gaming here and this is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is gonna be another one of our free to play series video and it's gonna be uh, a few more tips, a few more tricks, uh, you know, the usual stuff from the free to play and also it will have a little bit of bragging in it because of the fact that I've been grinding so much that I, I managed to do something really interesting and that is complete a clan quest bear in mind guys uh, bear in mind guys check the clan quests that you have here basic expert elite depending on the clans that you're that you are a part of try and take these clan uh, these quests and finish as higher level ones as you can because they give you clan gold which can be useful in clan shop for example in our baby clan that we just started road to ultra nightmare that's 16 out of 30 already so congrats guys a few more slots open but maybe by the time this video goes out it might be it might be full or not i guess we're gonna have to see but the clan what why, why is the clan gold so important well if you go to the clan shop guess what i can buy a hundred energy for this clan gold which at this point of the game guess what it's extremely important as much energy as possible means as much farming as possible. Farming is really important at this point as you're constantly focusing on, on farming for uh, for food champs. What do I mean by food champs? As I explained previously in the, in the previous episodes, you have your core champions that are in my case, for example, Elhane, Tylesia and Talia. These are my core champions and my two death hounds, which are my poisoners. These are the core champions that I want to level up. In order to get a one star champion to a two star, you have to upgrade him. Let me show you a simple example through the through the tavern. So as an example, let's take uh, how, what do we have? Force ones. Let's take this one. Put one brew, for example, in him. This is an easy way to do it later on. I wouldn't recommend this. Maybe save the brews now for other things. But see, he can one star can maximum get to the level 10. Two star to 20, three star to 30, and so on. So in order to upgrade this, you, for example, you have him upgraded to 10 max. Then you go to upgrade rank here in the tavern, and then you require to use one one star. See, it's that's all that we that's all we can use. Then we, if we get a two star champion, let me see if I have one ready. I do not have. But if you get a two star one that you that you want to upgrade, it's the same principle. You need to get him to level 20. After he's level 20, then you would go to upgrade and then it's going to require two of the two star champions in order to upgrade him to the next level and so on and so forth. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Because if you if you look over here like that's what I have mostly. Look at this three stars, three stars. Look at all these three two stars. This is the one that I'm farming. And what I'm doing is I was farming at the same time for the challenges. Let me show you how far I've progressed with the missions and challenges. With the missions, I've already passed this first mark. See, the one that got me 300 gems, that's how I was able to already buy the masteries for Elhain. And then I'm already, look, at 21, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to this point, and then I'm going to have to advance this one. And, you know, keep keep going with these ones, which can be uh, slightly easy, unless there's, like, little points where you get stuck. Like, for example, I'm stuck at this arena one, and maybe if the silver is a problem, the leveling up to 16. Remember guys, if you don't have a piece of gear that's good to level up to 16, for example, I'll show you on mine, I leveled up this boot. It's 4 star only, but it's lifesteal, it's good, so it was worth it. Next item that I'm gonna upgrade, if, if I'm gonna have enough silver, will be this glove, this crit rate glove. So, that's gonna be my next step, but let me show you the challenges, how far I've, I've gotten. I'm at part 3 out of 5 from the champion challenges, obviously this one's gonna be depending on what luck I get at the sharp pulls. But the artifact ones is the one that I grinded a lot and during grinding the artifact ones I, I got food, look at where I am. I'm at 8 out of 10. This is something that I'm going to be stuck for a little bit because it's going to require a lot of silver to level up, lots of stuff to level 12. Because you need 4 champions equipped with 3 4 star higher artifact set, uh, 4 star or higher artifact sets and they need to be level 12 or higher bear in mind let me show you something that you might be tricked uh, by guys and you have to be very careful it says three sets so for example my elhain that has a lifesteal set that's a four set piece this she would not count because you will only have two sets on her so even if i had this and then the other set was like four star five star or whatever it will not count because you need to have two set 
pieces as I have, for example, on Sniper, as I have on Talia, and as I have on this Death Hound. So bear in mind, in case you get stuck on that one, that's why, because you need to have the set pieces that are like two of each. That's the only way you can pass that one. Another thing that I advanced a little bit was in the arena. I'm already at part three out of three. It was slightly easy. I mean, like in silver. Obviously, this one's going to take a while because it requires gold medals. And I mean, depending because the arena is kind of busted right now. So I might advance this pretty, pretty fast. And then the dungeon ones are, are stuff that I'm going to do as I go along, obviously, at the same time. You know, I'm going to advance and get the rewards from as many places as I can. But one of the things that I that I was talking about with the clan quest is, well, with getting clan gold, I managed to finish an elite clan quest that says finish in one of the top three position in the tournament group. Guess how I did that? Well, what tournament group could I get first place in? But, drum roll, trrr, the novice tournament, guys. I managed to get first place by quite a while. I mean, honestly, this shows how much I grinded. But I, I was really excited. I had to. And since I took the clan quest, boom, look at this. I managed to win myself, apart from obviously from the milestone rewards, I managed to get myself this amazing ancient shard, which is huge at this point of the game. This is huge. So I'm going to save this one because, like I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to try to s gather as many shards as I can over this weekend, and I'm going to pull them all in one day. I already have four ancients, I have one void shard, and I think what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start trying to uh, three star hard see if i can three star hard and normal to get the rewards and have everything to pull for for the for the weekend anything else that i think i can share at the moment mm, these are some of the tips oh yeah one more thing if you're grinding a lot and you start getting like more and more uh, pieces and it gets fuller here and you see that you're you're very short on on silver the way that i do it is i just go to filter uh, you don't have to click fitting room, I, this is my reflex. But you go to rank and rarity, you click like this. Three star, one and two star, and you can st sell everything if you want. Maybe if you don't want to sell the three star, undo the three star, keep in the one and two star, select and sell all. Because this is going to be nothing that's going to help you. One and two stars will not help you. Honestly, even the three star you might sell, but for now, maybe keep the relentless pieces and the other funky like shield set pieces and stuff like that. So maybe sell all of the three stars that are life, offense, all the other random stuff, because, you know, you might need more silver. The reason why I'm saying to keep the, for example, the relentless and the shield is because, you know, that little bit of shield might, might help you pass some, some other content. You might have a champion that has lots of HP, a champion that has lots of HP, and you would put the shield set on. Even though it's just three star, it might be helpful. But do not level this. Remember, do not level this more than level 12. That's the most you can do because it's, it's really expensive. It's not worth it. And it's just a waste of, of uh, silver because you're going to get better pieces later on. So let me just sell that myself since I since I mentioned it a little bit. But yeah, as you see, my, my arena is already five star. I would use my I use my war priest as food. I'm starting to save, as you see, some of the champions that have interesting kits, like for example, him uh, has the cleanse. He has some other funky stuff. I, I forgot what he has, but I'm saving him as well. And then every I'm saving one copy of you see these little circles. I'm saving one copy of all of these ones that can have that can, will be used for the fusion. And then there's these three, four champions. Let me show you why I've saved those ones and explain to you another really important thing that you do not have to forget and you must do it every single day. There's two pieces of content, doesn't matter the level, your early game or late game, end game. There's two pieces of content that should have priority for you always. Number one, clan boss, because it gives you the best rewards in the game. And number two, Faction Wars. Faction Wars gives you glyphs and forging materials. Getting glyphs and forging materials is huge in this game. Like that, the baby, even the baby one star glyphs. Let me see if I have something to, to glyph on. Okay, let's see this one, for example. Even these little baby one star glyphs, this 1% can mean a lot. This 1% HP, again, it can be huge when we're talking about speed. It can help you to get people to the right speeds. You want your decreased defense champion to go in front of your nuker, but you don't have enough speed. You have the speed glyphs, you can use them there. So always do faction wars. So what I was saying about these champions, people like Shield Guard has an AoE here and gains Terminator for 
uh, every 20 percent meter every time he crits so basically if he's in faction wars and he's fully booked again with copies of himself not using any type of books uh he basically has this auto tutor cooldown so he aoe's does the a1 aoe's does the a1 so he can be used easily to farm stage one of the faction wars or there is zephyr sniper that has aoe a1 again attacks has an aoe you can you can always just use that to do a1 because there's presets after level 30 you can lock her a2 and just have her using her a1 get her to like level 30 40 and she should be able to one shot all of the waves with some random gear in there then we have somebody like a Soros again AOE on the A1, AOE on the A2. Soros can actually be a campaign farmer as well if you pick somebody that, that does it slower, for example. But uh, depending on what you pull, you might get better options later on. But if you don't want to keep your main, your starter champion to be the campaign farmer, you can build a Soros. If not, use him to farm your Lizardman faction wars. Then we have a common out there, Sister Militant, AOE A1. Do you see the theme? Everybody that you can use or you have to look out for our champions have AOEs either on their or their on the first skill or on all of their skills because they can farm your faction wars pretty fast and they save you time. Even if you cannot farm three, four, five higher ones early on, just farm stage one. If it takes you 10, 20 seconds, just put it to farm. Plus they have, they have we have the super raids right now, so you know it's pretty easy and it's it's a shame to avoid it. Like I said, prioritize that. Prioritize that as it's really, really important. Now, since we talked about Faction Wars and Glyphs, let me show you what else you get from Faction Wars. You get Bloodstones, and you get, what's it called for resilience again? You get Soul Stones. These ones are extremely important to build to forge these artifact sets, the Perception Set and the Resilience Set. Perception Set is one of the best sets in the game. So this set is insanely good. It's one of the best sets in the game. So you 100% want to uh, to farm and forge these pieces. Even if it's like early on, you're going to just be forging three and four star pieces. It's, you know, it's fine. It's better than nothing. I, I have the chance actually to forge three. Let's let's forge three of those. So let's see. I'm going to use rank and rarity only for perception because it's, like I said, one of the best ones in the game. And this can be helpful for my Thalesia or like any other champion that does debuffs. Let's see. Don't use anything else. No, I think that's fine. Okay. Come on. Come on. Give me a good piece. Give me something nice there. Oh my god. Six star legendary perception shield with speed and accuracy on them. Oh my god. This would be good for my end game account. Oh mama. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good. Okay. Can we get another good piece? Can we get another good piece? Okay, okay, this is not bad. Crit rate to attack percent, six star again, extremely, extremely good. I'm gonna take it. And then let's see the last one. Can we get a weapon? Maybe. Ah, uh, okay, this one's bad. This one's this is a prime example. If you get something like this, you see it's like, oh my god, five star legendary. Do not keep it. It has nothing that can help you, especially on a boot. On a boot, you want percentage or speed. Otherwise, you're gonna sell it because it's gonna be useless. Even has like it doesn't have any accuracy on it or speed or anything to to give me a reason to keep it. So I'm gonna sell it and look at this free silver. But yeah, this is this is this uh, this is the importance of it. Now I can go for example and forge four and five star ones, and I can go and forge resilience. So resilience is not as good later on, but it's good early on. So you can forge some of these as well. I wouldn't use the rank and rarity ones, but I would still I would still uh. I'm still forged. Let's see. Let's see what can we get since we're at the, this forging point. Okay, weapon with speed, HP percent. That's good. Five star, five star epic. Okay, another one maybe. Okay, another weapon. That's not what I meant when I said another one. But apparently the game listened to me, gave me this one. Uh, let's see. Can we get a six star piece now? A helmet maybe. Okay, five star again. Speed with crit damage. These are gonna be good. I'm gonna level them up to eight to twelve. Hopefully they roll speed, they make a set together and they give me the bonus of HP and defense percent. By the way, perception is really good because it gives you 40 accuracy and 5% speed, which is huge. You already have the set accuracy that comes from the dragon, but this one's like this one's like accuracy set on, on like on steroids. So that's why this one's really good. And it helps you especially early on, even if they're crap pieces, you might not have enough accuracy on, on your uh, on your other pieces so just make two sets of these and boom you already have 80 accuracy so that's why it's so important 
but yeah i think this is gonna be it for a while i actually talked a little bit for this one if i'm gonna th if i'm gonna remember something else again like i said i'm gonna jump back in recording and add it to this video if not see you in the next one guys peace love bye just a quick one here guys for the for the missions for the progress missions uh i got to the point where it asks me to upgrade two champions to level 50. I will not do that. I feel like this is actually a trap and kind of confuses people and they like this mission, this mission shouldn't be here. Maybe like have it later on, because in my opinion, it's better to just get your starter to six star first, because that way you can farm food easier and farm all the areas easier. If you do that, if you get two people to to 15, then basically that extra person that you got to 50 means that you need to build another five star champion to be able to six star your starter. So in my opinion, do not do this. The, get your starter to six star. And after that, maybe focus and get this, this uh, quest done and carry on with the next ones. But that, that, that's my two cents here at the end. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye.